Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can connect Blender text objects and Blender particles and also use uh, Meta Balls um, instances using Spreadshop. So it's, a, it's gonna be like four different elements to make this one, but basically I'm focusing on 3D typography. It's one of my favorite subjects. So it's kind of like a way to extend uh, the text object right here. Um, oops, RX90, and then we make the text standing like this. So file, save as, um, this is gonna be text, particle, metabolics. Okay, we can start with a Blender default text and we're gonna change it later. Extrude it. Particles. And we can add a subdivision or no need. I think we just do it anyway. Remesh modifier, smooth it. Discon uh, don't remove disconnected pieces that's a good starter um, now let's use spreadshop to convert that into a mesh so we can emit some particle from it because currently it's a it's a font it's a text object it cannot emit particles we don't want to convert it to mesh by hand so just use spreadshop for that text to mesh objects in get selection post modifier on viewer draw that in plug it in so we have that um, the transformations if we want to apply it just use matrix apply so we have our object like that so we have the intermediate mesh somewhere so I'm gonna use outliner just in case so original text objects and intermediate objects gonna be the image viewer. I think it's a good idea to name this um, text mesh. Plug that in. Plug that in. See text mesh oh this is the intermediate object so we don't actually need to see it actually we don't maybe hide some of this so this guy we're gonna quickly turn it into particles how many particles it's a uh, for this one i'm gonna use volume actually and it's gonna be random even distribution yes and have some more particles. Let's see how Blender handles 2000 um, meta balls. I have not tried this. Okay, it currently has simulations. We don't want the simulations. Just turn it off. Turn off the gravity. We're not gonna use the normal or anything. Okay, so now we're almost ready. Let's create a meta balls. Um, let's make this small, super small, and let's see how this connects to the particles. Now, if you run it, it runs for few frames. So this guy is gonna be the instance. I have not tried this actually. Uh, let me. If if I give a color to Meta Ball, what's gonna happen? To the other guy material material number two let's uh, make it single um, make it unique uh, still red color there's probably a way to make this <coughs> meta ball like a kind of blending in color Anyway, 
let's use this big one and the small one small meta ball and big meta balls um, let's try a small one first let's uh, use it as instance for our text object we can turn off or oh, actually just leave it on in the particles make sure the emitter is off now we're gonna use the meta ball as our instance object the size currently is really really tiny but you can see it's starting to appear um, let's turn on only render now let's turn this to 8.8 .8. the meta ball start to react okay this is the plan Um, normally with the particle itself um, we can do another like spread chop processing if you want to make the to control the particles using spread chops and make it spread chop like a like a force behind the particles but this is this is pretty good this is actually what I'm gonna show you this is pretty much pretty much it for the next few minutes I'm just gonna kind of uh, milking this idea okay um, so this is our intermediate objects and then we can scale the particles more remember that this effect is actually live and you can always um, let's say you can always change the this guy you can add like a multiple like a different size of uh, meta balls 2000 meta balls seems working pretty well we can actually re reduce it and uh, let me check 500. That's quite decent and it's actually a lot faster. Let's make this meta ball one 1.5. We can have random size. Start to look more interesting. You just uh, maybe the next step is to make the particles kind of moving somehow. Um, if but for that we we might need to use force. Not gonna do that yet. Let's bring our text back. Uh, let's turn it on. We can change this to anything like uh. What should I write? Snail. And update it and it's gonna propagate and then we have our snail text like that. so that's pretty cool um, what if we also use a different meta balls like a capsule or ellipsoid capsule Capsule might be a little bit heavier. The uh, funny thing is, it's kind of like loading. Maybe there's some weird thing happening. I'm gonna terminate that. I'm gonna reload. Particle meta balls. Make sure it's on the frame zero. We don't need this big one. Meta balls. Maybe ellipsoid. I have a feeling that for every meta balls instance in Blender, it's kind of connected. Oh. All right, that's because it's a uh, huge. Hmm. Let's scale it to point z point one. Hmm. 
if they are connected, I could just drag it and then it's probably gonna merge. Well, it actually does. Quite interesting. So, metaballs, we can reduce the resolutions. Okay. Currently, it's like. Yeah, that's a much, much kind of a low risk. Excuse me. Excuse me. Back to our metaballs. This is supposed to look like a capsule, but uh, it's more like. Uh, nah, we probably don't don't need this guy. Gonna reset. Back to this guy. Now I wonder what should we do next. Um, we could actually. This is the instance. Uh, we could we could bring this guy back into Spreadshop. Uh, if I make it like super low res. Um, the particle is not moving at all. Maybe I, I'll use turbulence. I I don't like using a um, particle field um, while recording. Might slow things down. But yeah, we will see. Okay, particle is not simulating. Of course, we have to turn on the physics Newtonian Brownian on add some damping now the better the meta ball is moving as well um, of course the effect is gonna be cool uh, but it might slow things down and because it needs to do the caching and the calculations it's kind of slow to watch anyway and things breaking up because it's a turbulence maybe I don't need the turbulence field I have to study a little bit more about all these blender particles but particle by itself I think it should have some motion because it, it has brownian But probably not as um, not as interesting. I suppose we can do it um, this way. I, I, okay, I have an idea. Let's select our text, bring our text back. Original text. Uh, this guy change it into a different font um, Pacifico, okay, Pacifico Pacifico is a it's not an easy text to deal with but if we kind of we kind of emit some particles inside the text then it should be good let's reload Okay, our meta balls update itself. Cool. Now let's switch on render only. We might need more particles here. I'm gonna just turn off the physics. Let's say um, what do you call meta balls. We're not gonna do the instancing here. I realize um, let's turn off this instancing and turn it back into hello something so we just have just the particles the metaball should not be uh, uh, the metaball should not be there at the moment, so <clears throat> I'm gonna increase this to 1000. Should be like 1500, should be good. You can see that 
now the points are more connected random distribution yeah Yeah, I guess that should be good. And then we bring that to spread chalk. Okay, this is gonna be another spread chalk. And let's call it particle to points. Particle to mesh. So with the particle selected, objects in. Get selection and then particle nodes and then we're gonna output uh, some points image mk2 merge it because we don't want we don't want too many objects we want a single object with many many points okay I believe we have it let's update Um, blender particles object. Let's use viewer draw. Yeah, we should have it. It's called beta. Okay, let's call beta. That's why. Okay, now it's, we have the beta objects. We have meta balls. We can now parent the meta balls into the beta object. Control P. Now with better objects, we can duplicate first and refresh. Looks like we have. We have nothing at the moment, which is very interesting. Uh, word face group. <clears throat> Maybe this guy is not appearing properly. <clears throat> Let me check. stop the simulations so we have text object we have this guy we have text mesh and then we have spread job Oh, it's a bit tricky at the moment because if I turn this guy off, the particle will not simulate. If there is no particles, the stretch of one will not work. Maybe. Oh, actually, it's actually working all the all the time. It's just this guy is being generated up there. Yeah, cool. It's actually working. Um, sorry about that. Randomize input vertices. Now we can actually control all, all the points using SpreadShop, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, this is like um, the particles. Um, the particles is used just to do the scattering of points inside um, the text object. And now, if we just reduce this, randomize the seed, and you see how interactive this is. Um, this is like um, yeah, 
this is exactly what I want to show you. Um, if you make like uh, some kind of simulations using Spreadshop to the points, um, then you you really have total control over the points of particles without having to use particles and fields because fields can be unpredictable um, of course but fields is also can be useful but it's really can be unpredictable so let's say with particles here and we you can um, you want to reduce the number you can you can easily do that um, let's say if you use like list slicing Okay, now we have only a few particles. You can increase the number. See, you have total control of it. Even if uh, with a particle, I say, I make it like 5,000, <coughs> 5,000. Remember, this is like 5,000. It's going to be 5,000 points. But in Spreadshop, it's only reading like this number. You can increase it little by little, and it's no problem at all to go up slowly. We cannot really control the uh, the meta balls, I don't think. Oh, just now it disappeared. Not sure why. Let me just play back. Oh, because we're in edit mode. Sorry. Yeah, we cannot really control the size of meta balls. Um, oh, we, we sort of could, um, but because the meta ball is used as instance objects, so so it's a another different kind of uh, trickiness trickiness that you will encounter. So see, this is with the meta ball um, being selected. If I make this guy zero point zero two five, then it's gonna be thicker. But this guy, we can also play with the threshold. And we're gonna make it look nicer, but I think that's nice. We can re increase the resolution. And if we want to do another step, we can an make another stretch up, and then this guy is gonna read the meta ball to mesh <coughs> with the meta ball selected, objects in, get selection, post modifier, have a look at the result. We can have just the edges actually. Now that's actually. This is a new mesh being generated. So, with this guy, we can really just use BMS MK2 vertices and polygon. Now we have this new mesh, and it's almost like Okay, you you have a new mesh here now, and you can apply any one of these solidify subdivision. Uh, don't do skin. Maybe remesh. Look, and where is wire? Where is frame? And you can further like uh, emit some particles from this guy. It's a like a lot of lot of things you can do because from this from this point on, it's a it's pretty much mesh. And with mesh, you can you can also bring it back to Spreadshop, you know. Leave it at that. 
block remess wireframe you can use displacement modifier it's always gonna work and then but remember we can always go back to the original text um, are we editing the text no edit the text just write down blender and then refresh let it processing and cal calculate and then are we getting it so we have snail there blender play back a little bit and it updates itself and then it updates just a little bit tricky right a little bit a little bit tricky um, go back to it's actually a good idea to number this I think this is just all the procedure particle to mesh this is number two see now we can we know which one is the first one to set up and the next process and the next process this is all like the procedural nature uh, looks like uh, because I re renamed stuff um, kind of lost this guy where is text to mesh of this guy get selection and particle systems back that's why it's kind of funky just now Let's try 4000 and let it update. Okay, cool, it works. And with this guy. Yeah, I like this. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway, that's uh, kind of like a a quick look at um, all different parts of Blender that we can kind of uh, connect together, hook together using SpreadShop. It's uh, it's not new, but uh, because um, if you don't have SpreadShop, it's uh, I don't think we can do something like this unless you do it manually, and then you kind of need to always go back and redo some stuff. But this one make it making it more streamlined. So that's uh, that's the whole idea. Um, I guess that's pretty much what I want to show you in this live coding. I'll see you in the next video. Um, if you have any questions uh, or feedbacks, you can leave it down below. Thank you.